This local sports report is presented by Clark Construction Management, a proud supporter of the Junior A Orangeville Northmen. Learn more about Clark Construction by visiting their website at clarkconstructionmgt.com. It's the championship series in the Junior A OJLL playoffs. The Orangeville Northmen and the Burlington Blaze meeting at the Tony Rose Arena for Game 1 in the best of seven for the title. The Northmen undefeated the season, facing their toughest opponent yet in the Burlington Blaze. The Blaze cruising to a 4-1 series win in their semifinal, looking to pull off an upset and snap the Northmen's win streak. The pair would face off on Wednesday night. Jumping into the action, it's the Northmen on the power play looking to strike first. Joey Spillina plays a behind-the-back pass for Colton Marquis, and Colton steps into his shot, and it's a roof job for Marquis! So it's 1-0 Northman. The Orange Row power play converting early and they get another chance moments later. It's a mirror play from before. Joey Spillina sets up Colton Marquis, and Colton sneaks inside. He fakes a pass and lets it go on net, and Marquis is good for another! That's two quick ones from Colton Marquis on the power play, and it's 2-0 Northman. Back on the blaze. Burlington set up the screen for Alex Marinier, and Alex fires overhead, and Marinier buries it! So the Northman's lead is cut down to one. And the Blaze were just getting started. Only a couple minutes later, and watch the setup for Chuck Rawson. Brooks English spots out Rawson on the run, and Chuck finishes it! So we're all tied up at 2-2. The Blaze feeling the momentum, and they keep the pressure coming. It's another good setup from Brooks English, and Josh Rosa has got the go-ahead goal! So it's 3-2 Burlington. The Northman trailing now looking to respond and watch the bullet from Caleb Benedict. Caleb leans to his shot, and that's a beauty shot from Benedict! So it's 3-3. Final seconds of the first now, the Northman with an extra attacker looking to strike before the buzzer. They work it out high for Liam Matthews, and Liam sends it home! He scores with one second left on the clock, and we head to the second, 4-3 Northman. In the second now, the Blaze back with the ball, and how about Braden Saris? He converts on his 26th of the playoffs, and it's 4-4. And a few minutes later, it's more from Saris. Braden snipes the goal mesh with a long shot, and it's 5-4 Blaze early in the second. And the Blaze would keep the momentum coming. This is Ty English on the fast break. He fakes a pass and sneaks it in 5-hole. That's a creative finish from Ty English, and it's 6-4 Blaze. The Northman trailing by a pair now, and it's Colton Marquis coming alive to stem the Burlington momentum. He cuts right and converts on his hat-trick goal. So the Northmen are back within one. But with a fadeaway beauty from Alex Marinier, the Blaze keep rolling, now leading 7-5. And the Blaze would keep the foot on the gas pedal. It's a clean finish from Ben Trumbull on the breakaway, and it's 8-5 Blaze late in the second. Burlington finding their footing in the second, but it's the Northman striking again before the break. Amos Whitcomb spots out Colton Marquis streaking in, and Colton's got another! That's 4 for Marquis, and it's 8-6 Blaze heading to the third. In the third now, 9-6 Blaze, the Northman looking to spark a comeback and watch the fight from Colton Marquis. He spins off the defender and fires, and Marquis makes it 5 for himself. So the Northmen are back within 2. Orangeville pressing now, the game's still within their grasp, and it's clutch from Jameson Bucktooth. He goes upstairs from the slot, and it's 9-8 Blaze with 11 minutes left to play. The Northmen rolling, but the Blaze would keep pace. Chuck Rawson converts on his hat-trick goal, and the Blaze are out front by a pair. And less than a minute later, it's some more insurance from the Blaze. It's a great cut from Josh Rosa. He sends it wide, but it's Ty English slamming in the rebound. So it's 11-8 Blaze. Five minutes left on the clock now. The Northmen still battling hard, and it's Joey Spillina breathing some life into the Northmen. He cuts past the defense and aims low, and Spillina's on the board. So it's 11-9 Blaze. And only a minute later, it's the man of the match, Colton Marquis, converting on his sixth of the game. So the Northmen pull back within one, with three and a half minutes left on the clock. 11-10 Blaze now, Burlington looking to find the dagger and close this one out. It's an inside pass for Zach Thompson, and he smashes it in! And just like that, the Burlington Blaze pull off the upset in Game 1 and head home with a 1-0 series lead. They take this one by a final score of 12-10. The pair will meet for Game 2 on Friday night in Burlington. Just keeping a level head, you know, not getting uh, too intimidated by a team that's undefeated. I think that, uh, you know, it was a big accomplishment for us. I don't think it was anything that we didn't think we were going to pull off. You know, people might be shocked. Team 20 and 0, early season losing, finally. It's just one step, and uh, I think we got to go with the rest. And, uh, you know, so, uh, I think that you know, three more games to go, and uh, I think, uh, yeah, let's get it done. Going back to our barn, the oven, uh, I don't think there's a better fan base out there. Um, just great fans, a lot of kids out there just love the game. And, uh, you know, it's packed there every night. 
and uh, you know I couldn't owe the rest of our uh, season to anybody else, but uh, you know our, our fans, and it's just been awesome to play there. So yeah, can't wait to be there on Friday. We knew that they were going to lose eventually, so we wanted to give them that first one. Um, and the boys just we were really prepared and dialed in the whole time, and we knew it was coming. So yeah.